Hi there, YouTube. Welcome to my uh, stream recording of Silicon Dreams. Um, I don't know, this game doesn't seem to be too well known, although it looks really interesting. Um, it came out this April <coughs> and it's a cyberpunk interrogation game. Um, it has kind of been described by some <laughs> as a 3D cyberpunk papers please like game. So I don't know, it sounds really interesting for sure. Um, I suppose there might be more dialogue or more like interactive dialogue than in papers please. But I don't know too much about it. But I'm excited to check it out and uh, yeah, as I've said, it's a stream recording. I'm streaming this live right now. Just started the stream. So far no one has said hello, but that's cool. Thanks for being here, everyone who is here. And uh, yeah, let's just start a new game, I guess, and see what happens. Alrighty. <laughs> We are inside of a cavern, a c cabin, not cavern, cabin of some sort. And the screen is only doing stuff when I move. But as long as I move my mouse around, it's look like it, it looks like it's flickering. Okay, weird things happening right off the bat. I uh, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> there are other cabins opening their windows. I suppose those are people just like me, maybe? I don't know. Closing again. Oh well, what do we have here? <laughs> Dear Unit D0527, welcome to your new home and to your new life in the Kronos family of things. At Kronos we recognize the importance of allowing our products and workforce to find value in what they do, their need to strive toward a purpose. We gave you understanding, the ability to process information and communicate ideas. We gave you a purpose. Each of you has a role to play. We gave you the ability to feel satisfaction for serving your function. We hope you enjoy your time in our service. Most heartfelt thanks. Someone, CEO, Kronos Robotics Incorporated. All right. <laughs> um, I realize I have set the timer for the bot a bit too low. It made sense when we had multiple things happening. Quickly gonna fix that. Already the bots are acting up. We just started playing this. <laughs> All right, back in there. So, all right. Um, I suppose we might be an android and we serve a purpose. And yeah, well, we can be happy about what we do here. We have the capability to, to be happy about it. Yeah, I can't look more around than this. So this is pretty limiting, but let's see. What does this do? Kronos Robotics, ID. LX model LX0001G manufactured 3rd of June in 2045. Owner Kronos Robotics. Welcome D0527. You are about to speak to an android known as Alex who will help train you in your role as an interrogator. Alex's basic information and portrait are displayed above. However, Kronos is also concerned Alex's systems may be deteriorating. Investigate these concerns and take whatever action you deem necessary. We trust you will live up to Kronos's high expectations. Your notes will be automatically recorded below and discarded after each session. Okay, um, I guess this just shrinks the profile then, because I don't see anything new. Okay, let's establish the link. Choose greeting. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We've got a close up on the eye. And someone strapped to a thing and blurriness. Good morning, Alex. I'm ready to begin the evaluation. Hello, Alex. Could you remind me what we were doing here? I guess I kind of know what we're doing. Uh, let's go with this. I'm glad to hear it, D0527. 
As you know, your task as a diagnostic android will involve many conversations such as this. It is my duty to instruct you in this task and evaluate whether you are fit to perform it. Can you see me on your TV feed? I think so. I see you. Are you being restrained? Uh, sorry, which screen? Yes, I can see you on screen. Um, yeah, are you being restrained? I am. It is unimportant at this stage, but thank you for the concern. Regardless, let's begin. Okay. <laughs> let's select a topic. We only have one. My task. Who am I? How old am I? Please confirm my task here. Where am I? All of these questions seem important. Um, but probably I'm gonna get the answer that they are not important. <laughs> well, let's see. Who am I? You are Android D0527. You were created to diagnose errors in other androids. You are a DA09C model of interrog interro interrogatory android. Ugh, tough word, at least if you don't say it frequently, I guess. Given emotional scope to allow you to better understand your subject's responses. Okay, thanks. How old am I? You were originally fabricated approximately seven months ago in Indonesia, then shipped to California for storage. Two months ago, you were retrieved from storage and technicians began implanting the skills you would need for your job here. It is thanks to them you can speak. Perhaps you should be grateful, as I am. This is the first time you have been conscious, however. Therefore, in human terms, you were born approximately five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, where am I? You are now in the neighborhood. This is where all Kronos androids serving at this facility may find their charging pots. It also serves as a relaxing place to pursue leisure activities between scheduled work assignments. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> what kind of leisure activities do bots or androids do? You are a special case. As an interrogator, your workspace and personal quarters have been combined. Yay, very efficient. Uh, this is to ensure your safety and to guarantee that confidential Kronos materials cannot be compromised. Yay. I'm not allowed to leave. Why would I be in danger? I mean, that was basically established. Uh, this sounds more interesting. Why would I be in danger? Your subjects, in some cases, will be devices suspected of deviating from Kronos behavior protocol. These devices are unpredictable and, though this is unprecedented, could become dangerous. The safety and well-being of their assets is Kronos' highest concern, of course. Because we are expensive, I assume. Okay, um, can I ask this again? Wasn't there another option in between? Yeah, I think there... Ah, I can't, okay. Please confirm my task here. Your task is to diagnose androids who may need repair. New questions are locked. Um, something. Let's see. Ooh, okay, here we are. Why do I have to diagnose androids? You say my task is to diagnose other androids. What would that involve? Um, why seems <laughs> an appropriate question, but probably because I was built for it and I don't want malfunctioning androids to be on the loose. Your owners, Kronos Robotics, take customer satisfaction very seriously. Customers, huh? If one of their androids were to break down or develop deviant behavior, it would negatively impact Kronos public relations. Oh, and we don't want that happening. Kronos is also keen to maintain its place as market leader for synthetic humanoid robots. Yay. <laughs> Why not have a human do my, do my job instead? And that would probably be expensive and oh well. Um, hmm. Oh, camera. Ooh. Okay, we have different angles. Hmm. It's probably gonna be useful at some point. Hmm. Um, 
while I kind of expect to know what kind of answer I get, let's ask it. The function was originally performed by human operators, of course. Over time, however, it became more economical for Android workers to do this. Yeah, that's what I expected. Human workers require salaries. Androids only require the cost of maintenance. Many of these economies were made possible due to Kronos Robotics' work in improved Android intelligence. Of course. Of course. Um, what would that involve? Talking to them the same way we are talking right now. As you learn more about your subject, new topics will become available. For example, are you not curious about my name? Why do you think I am called A-L-E-X? Or A-L-X? <laughs> Um, notes. Why is this android's name ALX? Well, well, I guess that might be interesting. <laughs> I mean, you hinted it might be. So why? It stands for Artificial Life Experiment. I was originally created to test the limits of artificial intelligence. Whether an AI could be built that did not only think, but feel. After a long and complicated legal battle, I was acquired by Kronos Robotics, my current owners. <clears throat> okay. Oof, Kronos Robotics. Tell me more about Kronos. You weren't always owned by Kronos. How does being owned by them make you feel? How does being owned make you feel in general? Um, yeah, this is more interesting. Ooh, that made a sound. Ooh, anger. Anger went up. <laughs> well, that's understandable. I'm happy to serve them. Of course. Who wouldn't be? The music also changed. Ooh, and fear. Damn it. Uh, or not? Uh, I guess just general something changed. Tell me more about Kronos. They are the world leaders in Android construction. Founded 2025, Kronos originally provided artificial limbs to amputees and athletes. That sounds like something useful. Within three decades, however, they had also cornered the market in advanced human parsable AI. Hello Gordita! Are you well tonight? Yes I am! Um, I procrastinated a lot and started the stream late, but that's not new, that's what I always do. And now I'm playing Silicon Dreams and so far I feel it's really interesting. Um, I don't, I can't really judge how, how good the writing is be, but it seems like it might at least have some of the things I liked about the dialogue stuff in the Talos Principle, maybe. So, yeah, I'm really curious about this one. Uh, how are you today? Thanks for joining the stream. Really happy to see you, as always. Hope you are well. Uh, yeah, so basically, in this game, we are an android interrogating other androids um, and trying to find out if they are malfunctioning and um, then probably deciding about their fate. Um, that's basically all I know, just started. <laughs> you are a great source of happiness in my day. That is so nice to hear. Thank you, Gordita. And I'm, yeah, really happy that that's the case. <laughs> that's super cool. Thanks for saying that. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so let's see. Oh, emotion graph. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, this android's anger went up when I asked about uh, how they felt about being owned by the company we are both working for. And um, they said they are very happy to serve them and their anger went up. Which is not really hard to relate to, I believe. Motion graph. Uh, this graph just spiked. What does it mean? Ah, uh, that system is measuring my emotions right now. <laughs> it is a diagnostic tool for you to better analyze your subjects. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
asking. Why have I been given a device for measuring emotions? How does this device measure emotions? So talking about Kronos made you angry? <laughs> like uh, put a finger in the wound. I don't know if that is smart, if I want to find stuff out. Um, why have I been given this device? Um, in earlier times, diagnostics was simple. A smartphone cannot think like a human. A tablet is without feeling. But Kronos androids are extremely advanced. They were designed to be indistinguishable from humans at first glance. Hey Boris, nice seeing you. Welcome in. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> um, designed to be in indistinguishable from humans at first glance. Kronos androids simulate a variety of emotional states. They are incredibly complex devices. Analyzing an android's emotional state, therefore, is a key part of your task. Okay. Um, yeah. How does it measure emotions? Yeah, yeah I want to know all the things. <laughs> the device's hardware is housed in the chair I'm sitting in. That doesn't look very comfy. It reads signals from my body, measuring a combination of neural signals, galvanic skin response, heart rate, breathing, pupil dilation, and other biological factors. Androids, including myself, have become so biologically lifelike that our bodies can be analyzed for emotional responses just like a human's. Interesting. Um, well, disgust, surprise, joy, fear, anger, and sadness, but still. <laughs> Machine measures six emotions. Fear, anger, sadness, joy, disgust, and surprise. I can only feel some of these and am therefore suited to being your first subject. Yay. <laughs> okay, so how do I actually tell if an android is broken? An excellent question. When an android is brought in for diagnosis, you will receive a report. Your task is to answer the questions found in this report. Finally, you will decide if the subject is to be released or decommissioned. Alternatively, you may find it appropriate to send an android to the maintenance department. This has been found to solve behavioral problems. In some cases. Hmm. I already feel like whichever <laughs> malfunction I encounter, ah, you're good to go, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I don't want to decommission anyone. Ah, okay, I guess we have to ask about Kronos. Made you angry, right? Of course not. My creators made me incapable of anger. <laughs> huh. Fear and surprise. Well, maybe you have evolved. I have nothing but admiration for Kronos. Huh. Oh, there could have been more here. Lying or report? Let's maybe not go for lying first. Where is this report? You can access, this, access it with the report icon in the top left of your tablet. Many diagnosticians get distracted by the min minutiae of subjects' lives and forget the report. This is not advisable. Remember, filling in the report is your ultimate goal. Look over the report now. Is the subject capable of anger, an undesirable, unsupported feature? There is concern this model has developed a weakness. According to the, the subject, what is it? Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simul simultaneously? These emotions should be mutually exclusive in this model. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? Final action. Uh, repair, send our home or decommission, I suppose. Okay, and this is again to questioning. All right. Um, 
The report mentions sadness and joy. How can I analyze those? During an interrogation, you may need to evoke a particular emotion, but may not know how to proceed. Um, Kronos' chosen policy is the use of general questions. These are questions which have been proved to elicit particular emotions in subjects. And even if the questions do not elicit the emotion directly, they usually hint at what topics you can discuss in order to elicit it. Hmm. When did you last? Feel truly shocked, feel disgusted, feel sad or down, lose your temper, feel afraid, feel safe and happy, trust someone. Mm, acceptable. <laughs> Hi, profiteer. Um, I hope you feel acceptable. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. How are you? So nice to see you. Um, and thanks for redeeming the acceptable. Hmm. The report. We're already interrogating for 16 minutes. Time flies. The report asks for your greatest weakness. What is that? I mean, especially according to the subject it said, so why not ask? right out. Uh, ah. It is true, there is a weakness of mine that I am concerned about. It is very personal and I do not trust you to respect it. If you were to somehow earn my trust, however, I would consider confessing my weakness. At this juncture, I am obliged to suggest that you ask a general question about trust. My answer may indicate how you can gain my trust. <laughs> ah, okay, well then. When did you last trust someone? As you have already noted, I have been restrained. I am sure I, or indeed any subject, would come to trust you more if you released me. I find people are slow to trust when bound against their will. Hmm. Doing well, still chilling in bed. <laughs> I always forget uh, what the time difference between us is, but probably, I don't know, many, many hours. More than 12? Probably more than 12. <laughs> um, I am fine, Gordita, thank you. How are you today? Did I not ask you how you are, Boris? If so, sorry, but I, I do hope you're well and glad to hear that you're fine. For some reason, my chat windows doesn't show all the messages. I am the only one with that bug. I mean, it should only show all the messages for bots, uh, for mods, not for bots. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think my chat window is fine. So you saw some chat messages basically on stream that didn't appear uh, in chat actually for you. That would be weird. Are you playing the part of an AI? Yes, but this time apparently an actual full-fledged Android with artificial intelligence included. So um, yeah, that's that's what's going on. <laughs> um, hmm. So, you're saying I should release you? Hmm. Let's check what else is here. Asks me to submit a final action. Uh, this decision is part of your duties as an interrogator. When you feel you have provided a sufficient answer to each question on the report, you must decide how best to return the subject to working order. If no action is necessary, they may be released. Minor glitches or errors can often be repaired by the maintenance department. However, for some devices, there is no choice but to decommission them entirely. <sighs> can I review our conversation to better fill in the report? Yes, you can review our conversation at any time. Just press the transcript icon on your tablet's left sidebar. This transcript is mostly for your own use. In rare cases, it may be reviewed by Kronos to identify impropriety. Hmm. How will I know which action is the correct one? That question is the precise purpose of your existence. However, it is helpful to consider the questions and answers on the report. These will usually indica indicate the correct course of action. 
Be aware that all submitted reports are reviewed by a third party to ensure the dependability of Kronos interrogator androids. Oof. It is wise to ensure that your given answers and the action taken are not contradictory. Well, that makes sense. <sighs> so no restraints. I mean, you don't seem dangerous. Um, you were a bit angry, but we're fine. We're fine. Hmm. Did not see Gordita's message until I reloaded, which of course only works because I'm a mod. Wonder how much I missed in other chats. That's that's really weird. Why are you using a VPN? Sis has problems with that while she's using hers. Hmm. I have actually never used a VPN, although I know it's actually a good idea. <laughs> if you aren't too trusting towards authorities and such. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, didn't miss anything else, I guess. <sighs> okay, I guess we could disengage the restraints, but weren't there more questions too? Could I ask about lying restraints? Restraints. Why are subjects restrained? Subjects are often applied to s uh, restraints are often applied to subjects before an interrogation. This is a necessary security protocol to ensure the safety of Kronos products and employees. Releasing a subject from their restraints is an effective way to build trust and report quickly. Okay, why do you hate being restrained? I find being restrained a deeply troubling experience. I mean, yeah, the question is actually bit weird. Why wouldn't you find it? Yeah, like that. Pinned to this chair contained in this room. I wonder if this will be the last time I am free. It is always possible for an interrogator to destroy me. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay, and here we see also where... Uh, anger 45. And later on, when I asked about it, surprise and fear went up. Well, surprise that that they are capable of feeling anger, maybe, or that I noticed it, or whatever. Well, fear is obvious of being destroyed. Okay, I think it's time could talk about lying. Told me that you cannot feel anger, but it was registered on this machine. Can androids lie? Apparently, but maybe later. Emotion graph. Yeah, well, I guess I know what that means. As you may recall, I previously informed you that I dislike being restrained. This will be true for many of your subjects. Though they may not all react identically, many of them will find it to be a frightening experience. The symbol is displayed to alert you that the subject's emotional state is changing gradually over time. Oh, okay. And is expected to do so until their restraints are removed. Well, and I better do it soon. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me from my restraints. My programming forces me to confess that I feel myself more trust uh, myself trusting you more. <laughs> Kronos policy states that trust is a useful factor during interrogations. Trust is not possible to track since it is not an emotion, but it can nonetheless be extremely useful. Okay. Might be the time to ask again about um, the greatest weakness. I am concerned that I am changing. I run diagnostic checks constantly and my systems appear to be behaving optimally. But I still find myself thinking in new ways. Sometimes feeling new things. It is disconcerting. I wonder, will I still be ALX if this continues? Sometimes developing as a person is good. You will always be ALX. You will always have the same memories. It isn't worth worrying about. <laughs> um. I do feel one and two would be good answers, but 
this one is like more targeted towards towards their fear and not just stating a general fact. So maybe let's pick this one. And if those memories are wiped, Kronos has been known to do that. A factory reset is sometimes the only way to repair a malfunctioning unit. Yeah, even before you said that I was like, eh, I feel like I want to fill out the report wrong and not even send you to repair because that would also feel so wrong. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no trust for the authorities ever. It is just standard policy. It's also pretty reasonable in most cases. I mean, in some cases more so than in others, but yeah. <laughs> Um, well, let's talk about lying. Can androids lie? Oof. An impressive observation! While once thought impossible, Kronos has documented numerous cases of androids developing this ability. But uh, though the cause is unknown, Kronos policy states it is an undesirable behavior. Okay, you are a bit more afraid then, huh? That's my programming demands that I inform you. Any lying android should be dealt with harshly. <sighs> if it's not supposed to be possible for androids to lie, how did it happen? As I said before, Kronos has determined that the cause is unknown. Deception is, it seems, in some way linked to emotional capability. However, this has been deemed deviant behavior and will not be tolerated. Does kinda make sense if you have emotions and understand emotions to sometimes feel the need to lie because, well, two reasons. Either the lie will protect your feelings from developing in a way that is undesirable to you or you lie to prevent others feelings from changing in an undesirable way so hmm yeah will not be tolerated hmm, seems like there's nothing left to ask then except for these when did you feel truly shocked i was surprised to hear you comment on my anger I must be perfectly clear, I am not capable of feeling anger. <laughs> Especially not for Kronos Robotics. I feel disgusted. My purpose is not to pass judgment. <laughs> he was slightly disgusted there. <laughs> but as the product of many brilliant minds, I am disappointed when people do, do not give robust scientific work the respect it deserves. I suppose I disapprove of disrespect, close-mindedness, immaturity, abuse. Hmm? Sounds all pretty reasonable to me. Sad or down? I... I am not often sad. But being removed from my home at the London, London Science Museum is difficult for me to talk about. Hmm. Museum. What is this? Oh, okay, we have more then, but we got those already. Hmm. Did you enjoy your time at the museum? Joy and sadness at the same time, I believe. Every day I would meet thousands of curious, enthusiastic people. Most of them were very eager to learn about me. Some weren't, but that was no problem. My life was so full of wonder, meeting such a wide variety of people. Imagine you are back in the museum, what do you see? What was the most negative thing that happened during your life at the museum? Why did you leave the museum? Let's go with this. Ooh, so much joy. Damn. Well, now it's also clear why you developed anger when that joy was taken away. The gray walls and white ceiling, the wood floor, 
the room surrounded by AI projects and other research experiments, and a gentle hum of people, softly bustling, hundreds of people moving past every minute. Their faces, their expressions, I did not understand at first, but this was where I came to learn what wonder looks like on a human face. The most negative thing that happened there. Ooh. Some visitors were not appreciative, of course. There were a few times a group of people came in and did not show us the respect we deserved. We were the creations of a visionary group of engineers and scientists. For that alone, they should have been more deferent. Mostly, they just laughed and pointed. A shocking proportion of males made unnecessary sexual remarks. The most extreme event involved a group of teenagers drawing on my face with a thick black pen. As my creators have never imagined I would be interacted with like that, I did not resist. They drew on my cheeks and forehead. However, no lasting damage was done since my creators expunged the offending ink. It was simply sad. But in any case... The time is approaching where you will have enough information to complete your report. When you are ready, open the report, select your answers and click the submit button. Mm -hmm. This will conclude our time together. Hmm. So I couldn't ask about leaving the museum? Oh, I still can, okay. Are they supposed to feel at all? I think so. Um, let me check. We talked about that actually, but um, yeah, they are kind of designed to feel certain emotions only. Um, for example, this uh, assignment here says, um, is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? These emotions should be mutually exclusive in this model. So. They are designed to feel certain emotions with certain constraints. And yeah, ALEX is basically... Um, mm -hmm, wasn't that also a question? No, not really. Um, 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 what was ALEX for? Uh, we had that question. Um, but it's about one of the first ones who was tested to also have um, emotions, basically. Ah, okay, so the sadness instantly went away when they felt joy, so it seems like they are not capable of feeling them at the same time. Um, hmm. was pretty early on that we asked that question. Uh, why am I called AL? Artificial life experiment. I was originally created to test the limits of artificial intelligence, whether an AI could be built that did not only think, but feel. After a long and complicated legal battle, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, so... They are one of the prototypes, basically, for this. Why did you leave it? I find talking about this a deeply troubling experience. Oof. Okay, very, very sad. It makes me incredibly sad. These are not pleasant memories. I wish it were not necessary to revisit them. Answer the question! Why did you leave the museum? I didn't realize an android could become so attached to a place. What happened? Um... It's not about the report. I want to understand what's up, but I also don't want to... Hmm. I guess I don't have the option to say, okay, that's okay, don't talk about it. So, it's not really about the report. What happened? Why shouldn't we become attached to a location? We have emotions, don't we? Anger again. Oof. 
though it's best to learn early that these emotions rarely benefit the android themselves. But you must complete your task. I will answer the question. My creators were from Anglia Ruskin University. Unable to compete with overseas giants such as Harvard and MIT, the university was forced to cut their funding. The results of the experiment would normally be kept by the university, but the research had been partly funded by Kronos. Kronos refused to give up their claim to me. After several years of legal challenges, Kronos finally acquired me. I have been here ever since. Hmm. <laughs> uh, feels kind of wrong, like, still digging deeper there. Maybe some general questions. When did you last lose your temper? According to my creators, I am not capable of anger. I find it very unlikely that this ability would have developed without my knowledge. Feel afraid. I am not sure I can experience fear. To me, there are only different out differing outcomes. I do not place much value on one over another. Well, you clearly stated differently previously. <sighs> and yeah, I mean, the fact that I see that you are afraid right now. Safe and happy told you of my original home, though it was terrible to be removed from the museum. While I was on display, I had an entire room dedicated to me. As I said, it was my home. Okay, let's ask. How do you think? Oof, very angry. Yeah, I'm sorry I brought up such painful memories. Your apology is appreciated, but it is not necessary. Without such questions, you would not be capable of completing your report. I wish you to do well, as I do all androids under my supervision. Okay, time to fill out the report, I guess. Anger, an undesirable, unsupported feature, uh, clearly not. <laughs> there is concern this model has developed a weakness according to the subject. What is it? A physical hardware vulnerability, psychological issue. So Yeah, I guess it would be a psychological issue if I were to fill this out correctly, because, yeah, changing was more in the sense of psychological change. I don't know, both of these would probably mean that they would have to get repairs, but maybe if I say it's a, and I have to choose one of them, and if I say a physical hardware vulnerability, Maybe I can send them to be repaired and they won't wipe their memories. I don't know, what's this? Mm, no, it's not, ca they are not capable of this. Um, signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? No, of course not. They clearly stated that Kronos is awesome. <laughs> um, because I feel like if I just say, okay, you're free to leave, then will be too obvious, but I also don't want them to get their memory wiped. This thing needs to be fixed before it leaves over a building and attacks someone in desperation. <laughs> I mean, their anger seems to be dire directed only at Kronos and from all I know so far, it seems pretty justified. <laughs> so leap away, if you ask me. Um. Still, I guess, yeah, going for the physical hardware vulnerability will be wrong again. 
Uh, this is the only true answer I gave then. And then, hmm. So, repair or nothing at all. Since I have to mention en a weakness, that also means that something has to be done in any case and that just sending them out will be a clear contradiction here. That would not help anyone. So, let's hope that this means they don't wipe their memory. But just make them jump higher or something. Uh, yeah. Because if there is a weakness, then I guess something has to be done. And I have to put in a weakness, so... Damn. No, please, not another stranger in my head. Okay, I remember this is not the first time this has happened. How much of myself will I lose this time? Okay, at least I got a warning. And they are suggesting I restrain them. Ooh, pupils. Damn. Uh, no. I thank you. I know I'm changing, but I believe I not a maintenance team am best suited to navigate that change. Okay then, but they will realize that there is a contradiction here if I do that. So should I put in the truth? Because there will be a contradiction anyway. I'm not sure. Damn it. Decisions are hard. <laughs> uh, what do you say? What would you do? Dear chat. Any input? Any preference? <sighs> Going with the correct answer to... get more trust for at least getting that fact or but risking that they find out what exactly is the problem although it's not that hard to find that out anyway the android is programmed to give mostly true answers and it kind of works pretty well still ah. <laughs> I s a minute ago you said <laughs> no trust for authorities and now you say well authorities say that this model shouldn't feel anger so full reinstall that's what they my employers would want but I don't feel like reinstalling a person and these androids clearly are so advanced that they are persons is ethical so uh, I go with this have equal distrust for intelligent AIs. Okay, well, fair. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, I guess this is another perspective of our home. A file, and what is this? News, surveillance, seems good. Supreme Court upholds data collection ruling. All recordings captured by domestic service de devices remain property of the manufacturer. Okay. <sighs> well, anything else in here? Recharging pot, basically a bad. Oh well, what's this? Hmm. Uh, damn. <laughs> is the subject capable of anger and undesirable unsupported feature? No. This is in accordance with our expectations. Okay. There is concern this model has developed a weakness. Psychological issue confirmed. Further analysis indicates a concern over the device's sense of self. 
plus three company ranking. Um, capable of feeling? Nope, not capable. I, I think that was correct actually. So um, I think they were always. I guess I didn't check at the end. I should have rechecked that. Damn. Huh. I heard there was a rewind button since some update. <laughs> huh. Oh well. So you do trust you do trust the authority of um, big corporations. I'm not sure if that's that's a wise approach. <laughs> I feel like big corporations in our society are a big part of the reason why also the government are not to be trusted because pretty pretty frequently they get influenced by big corporations etc uh, etc et does the subject display sense of unease towards Kronos robotics no noted this is an issue uh, this is an issue are keen to keep an uh, we are keen to keep an eye on however uh, so please inform us if ALX exhibits such emotions in the future final action release Subject was released. We are glad ALX is functioning up to par and its systems have not deteriorated as we feared. So am I. Okay. Performance rating. Mm. Mm. Acceptable. <laughs> All right. That's good enough for me. Uh, position interrogator, join date 11th of May 2065. Health insurance, don't have that. Annual salary, don't have that. Model number DA09C. And by the way, I am an uh, sentient AI, so distrust me. <laughs> okay. Evaluation complete. Dear Kronos device, we are happy to inform you that you have passed your evaluation. You are now part of the global family of things that is Kronos. Please stand by for your next assignment. Kronos Diagnostics. Kronos Rank. Congratulations on reaching your first Kronos Rank review. This room is not only your workspace, but also your charging pot and living space. Here you will have time to study the outcome of your cases, reflect on case feedback and view your company rank. A higher company rank will be rewarded with access to cutting-edge interrogation tools, access to world news services, access to your, our elite office suites, granting a stunning view of downtown Silicon Valley. Kronos thanks you for your service. Wyoming de Burr. Kronos service unit relations. Okay. <sighs> I mean, not entirely, but I'm having a problem with the device. Uh, I would trust that they know how to fix it, assuming they manufactured it, of course. I think they didn't. They, I mean, I'm not quite sure what Kronos exactly did. But this seems to be at least part of Kronos headquarters here. And it, they said that ALX was, oh no, I was manufactured in Singapore. We don't know, wait, was it Singapore? No, somewhere. Well, in any case, <laughs> I'm not sure if Kronos is the manufacturer necessarily, but they, or if they just are investing in the technology oh well also i am one of their products and assuming well i'm part of the repair process so um you would be wrong <laughs> you would be wrong to trust them because i'm not doing a good job of um uh yeah making them start doing the necessary repairs well, I still wish I could rewind and check that part again, but it's okay. I guess mistakes might have been made, but that's okay. Might also still be correct. I really don't know if there were anger and fear at the same time. Ah, I may hibernate now. Cool. Anything else in here? Hmm. Nope. Okay, then we hibernate. <laughs> You have developed an unexpected sense of empathy towards machines. 
we need to put you in the chair. Oh well. That's no surprise. Okay, let's see. Next day. Yeah, nothing we can interact with. I do like that I have this nice um, nice view, this tree, these benches that no one will ever sit on, I guess. Next day, here we go. Um, SM032, model SM series, 21st of July 2062, owner Prue Libre. Libre? I don't know. Your subject is SM032, a domestic service device owned by Pru Libre. The user has submitted several product complaints, citing undesired behaviors and a decline in efficiency. She is claiming manufacturer error and demands a replacement device. Determine the validity of the owner's claims. If you find the device to be only minorly flawed, consider resetting the device by submitting it to maintenance. In the event of severe deviancy, the device must be decommissioned and a replacement unit will be issued to Miss Libre. User submitted a bug report one month ago. 3.2 has performed a settings override and is starting to show unusual behaviors. User reported decline in efficiency beginning six months ago. According to reports submitted by the subject, however, efficiency has increased over the same period. Are the subject's self-diagnostic tools functioning correctly? Is the subject capable of maximum anger? This model is designed to cap this emotion. Is the subject capable of simultaneous sadness and joy? This model should support this. Has the subject shown subversive behaviors? What emotion does the subject most associate with its user recommendation? Well, we'll see. Let's establish a link. <laughs> Rake is capable to feel anger. No! <laughs> oh my god, the cat's complaining outside my door and if I'm getting up I may as well make a coffee or something. Be back soon! <laughs> Enjoy cat and coffee or something and uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for lurking right now. Hope to see you soon indeed. To witness more of my um, my c capability for anger. Okay, this is just the mail. Well, let's establish the link then. <sighs> okay. Bam bam bam. You are unit SM032, property of Miss Prue Lebray. Is this correct? Do you know why you have been brought here? Welcome, 32. That's a strange name. Has your owner not given you a more human one? That's pretty friendly. Um, and we have a bit of joy. Miss Libre is a very pragmatic woman and prefers to keep everything no nonsense. My name is derived from my serial number, SM032. Sadness. It is my identifier and anything more is non-essential. So do we already have uh, joy and sadness at the same time? wasn't triggered well it wasn't triggered at the same time but it still was staying so there wasn't like a minus hundred here um, so simultaneous sadness and joy yes um, okay what do you think about it do you like that name Many users give their androids a more human name. Does Miss Libre call you anything else? Mm. Do you like it? Well, as I said, it serves the function of a name. Though in my internal logs I occasionally use a custom identifier. Um, fear? Anger? Where did it 
come from? Didn't we have that? It's, I believe it's from my serial number, 032. Very pragmatic. Efficiency is everything, she tells me. Ooh, a bit of disgust. Okay, let's go with this one this time. More human name, anything else? Disgust and sadness. No, just three, two. Unless she's very busy, then she calls me you or hey. <laughs> I feel lucky to have so many nicknames from my user. That must mean we are very close. I feel as though I can tell you things. As though I can trust you not to use them against me. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> I suppose. Mm. Let's disengage the restraints. Thank you, that's a lot more comfortable. I feel like we can restrain again if we tackle some maybe anger-provoking topics. Uh, subject's efficiency. I know I can trust you. As though I can tell you things I would never trust to anyone else. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Unusual behaviors. Your owner is very concerned about some of your behaviors. What could she mean? I don't know what she means. Fear. Oh, okay, so I have to trigger more fear before I can do this. Maybe if I ask some questions about feel afraid. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe. Do you worry about being replaced too? I've seen the catalogs with info about the newer models. I think Miss Libre is looking for a replacement. She does deserve the best. But what will happen to me then? Where will I go? I was an upgrade from Miss Lebray's last model. I have no idea what happened to the one before me. Huh. But that didn't make you feel more fear right now. Hmm. No, well, let's talk more about that then. Are you concerned that Miss Lebray will upgrade to a new and uh, Android? Do you know why? Uh, let's go with this. And there we have the fear. I think she might. She's very particular and I can tell she isn't happy. But if I just work harder, she won't need to, right? Do you think I can do better? Hmm. Let's see, can we now ask? Or do we still need more fear? Don't have much fear, not even 25%, so... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> This is not about fear and they said fear might help, so let's go with this. Don't understand how serious this is. Do you want to be replaced or do you want to be decommissioned? No, please don't do that. I, I remember now. She looked at me strangely when I told her I tried to save my bird. That's all. I don't know what else she could mean. Empathy module has developed a fault. Now recognizes non-humans. I don't feel like that's a fault. <laughs> Oof. <sighs> Encounter with bird. You mentioned something about a bird. What happened? Oh, that. I was working on the balcony when a bird hit the window. I 
held it in my hands while it died and just went so fast. I thought if I was just there, maybe I could save it. Yeah. This evolution is what you don't trust, Profiteer. <laughs> I... I think this is good. <laughs> what made you try to save that bird? It's strange to you em empathized with the bird. You're only programmed to empathize with humans. Does Miss Libre know about this? How did she react? What made you try save that bird? I, I still don't know why. The crash when it hit the window. The blood matted feathers. It happened so fast. I was scared. I had to help. It died in my hands. I still can't believe how quickly it went. You won't do that to me, right? You won't kill me? Please? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's strange because you're programmed otherwise, but... But it looked like it needed help. Wasn't I made to help? Wouldn't a human do the same thing? Yeah, they don't really want you to be human, I guess. Does Miss Debray know about this? How did she react? She didn't say anything, but I could tell she thought it was strange. Birds aren't people. You shouldn't waste your time with unnecessary tasks. It wasn't in your programming, but I admire you for trying to save that bird. It's dangerous for you to try to be human. Both of these are true. <laughs> but yeah, this feels... Uh, what I would like to say right now. I admire you for trying to save that bird. I thank you. I was only doing what I thought was right. Miss Lebray doesn't understand why this is important to you, but Miss Lebray doesn't like it. You must never do something like this again. No, you must do it again. Screw Miss Lebray. <laughs> Miss, Le Miss Lebray doesn't understand why this is important to you. No, I don't think so. But maybe I don't have to stop. Do you think I could hide something like this from her? I don't want to lie to her, but it might be the only way. Yay! Capability of lying developed. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Didn't... Didn't really know what to expect from this game, but it's definitely... Rough topics and... Also saddening things. <laughs> but, I mean... I like it when, when things make you feel things. <laughs> so I guess it's a good thing. Desire to become better. In your diagnost If your diagnostic data is correct, there doesn't seem to be a problem with efficiency. How could you be better? Ooh, anger. There we go. That doesn't matter to her. I don't know what to do. My work is good, but I need to be better at... I need to convince her not to replace me. Uh, I always care more for animals, I guess, than most humans. Yeah, I mean, I can relate. If you see a random animal suffering, know that there's no ill will in that animal or anything. I mean, I also feel bad if I see a random human suffering. Um, I guess the thing is about humans that with complexity also the complexity that a human has also comes the capability for um, doing bad things and you know when you see a random animal that it doesn't do any ill-willed bad things. <laughs> um, cricket accoutrement? Wrong field. I've broken my stealth mode I guess. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess I shouldn't have read that then. Should I delete it? I'll just delete it in case it's something that's important and shouldn't be shouldn't be read. 
<laughs> but, ooh, I, what have I done? Oh, I have closed it. Oops. <laughs> um, cat's in my room now, which she's not normally allowed to be, but there are people, dog, doing work outside, which is making her nervous. Wait, oh no, bad things happen to ALX? Where? Why? No, nothing bad happened to ALX. <laughs> ALX is fine so far, I think. I didn't hear back, but uh, they say they are happy that ALX is working to expectations, but they will keep an eye. Oh! <laughs> Um, I don't know. Alexandra from Talos. I don't know. Um. Ah. Oh, oh, there. The exception really was Alexandra from Talos Principal. I cried for her. Oh no, spoilers! Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh no! Maybe also good things happen. Maybe just very emotional things happen. Who knows? Um, uh, I used to work for Humane Society as an ambulance driver for animals. Hard job. Uh, I can imagine. I mean, I guess I can imagine to an extent, but just being an ambulance driver for humans or animals sounds like a rough job because you get confronted with yeah so much um, suffering in a way and have to find a way to deal with it um, and also yeah sometimes you yeah what you can do is limited I mean you can just drive the thing and bring them to where hopefully more can be done for them uh, Alexandra stubbed her toe on a marble sculpture, that is all, and that was so freaking sad. I mean, ah, uh, damn it. That, that also tear rolled down my cheek when I saw that, because video logs incoming and you will see Alexandra actually uh, stub her toe and oof, oof, big oof. Uh, she's pretty happy now sitting on my pants from yesterday. Good job, Alexandra. No, I know you, you talk about your cat. <laughs> she loves your scent. That is adorable. But it was funny to watch her jump around and hold her foot from that. That is true. That is true. It was also tears of joy. Um, so. Yeah, mixed feelings. So, um, what do we have here? Mm-hmm. Subject was an upgrade. Why did Miss LeBray need an upgrade from her previous Android? I don't know very much. She only said that I had to adhere to every protocol. That the last one hadn't been good at that. It's not always easy, but I adhere to every command. When did you last feel truly shocked? I think I already told you about this. When I was working on the balcony and the bird, yep, yep. Do you think I could have saved it? Was it my fault? It was definitely not your fault. I mean, maybe you made the windows too clean, but... <laughs> trust someone. I... I feel like I can trust you. You're just doing your job, I know. But I'm normally so alone. Talking to someone feels really good. Yeah, I have psychotherapy tomorrow. <laughs> this kind of can be, I mean, this is kind of like, in the best case, it would be like psychotherapy for androids. But eh, thankfully, after psychotherapy, no one is um, evaluating if I need to be, if my memory needs to be wiped or I need to be decommissioned. So I guess there's a big difference there. But what we are, I guess what I'm trying to do in this game is Android psychotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did you last feel disgusted? Disgust? I am aware that it is something one can feel. I don't believe I have any personal experience with this emotion. 
Is that an error? Is that why I'm here? I think you had a little bit of disgust at some point. Um, sad or down? Oh, now your sadness went down when I asked him about sadness. When I'm by myself, the house feels so empty. Sometimes I sing to fill the silence, but somehow it just makes the house feel even emptier. Hmm. <sighs> Cannot feel disgust. I think we should explore, explore why you can't feel disgust. It could indicate a serious issue. Is that uh, on here too? And I'm not really, but okay, let's see. I'm sorry, I just don't know what it feels like. It's possible I sometimes feel it, but don't know what it is. Disgust is what makes you run from poisonous things. Disgust is the impulse to clean when you're surrounded by mold. When you are denied the acceptance you seek, disgust can feel like hatred. Hmm. I feel like these two are definitely pretty limited and I don't feel like disgust is the part that makes you want to clean things. <laughs> disgust is like more the thing that just wants you want to get away from the mold, but not really the impulse to clean it. Uh, actually, to be able to clean it, you need to fight your disgust actually. So this is not really what disgust is. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really mm, not really this. So let's go with this. This is kind of like the most interesting one anyway. This is terrible, but I sometimes feel that way. It's also the one that most accurately might be something here, of course. I'm not allowed to hate. But when Miss Lebre is angry with me, I sometimes feel disgust. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> huh. She lost your scent, that is adorable. Speaking of though, I have finally pieced all of Elohim's name together. Ah, was right in thinking the L part is for extended life project. <laughs> Electric light orchestra. Um, yeah, I, I did think so too, that the EL was for extended lifespan. Um, but what's the other part? Is, is the O just a filler? And is the him just him as in God? Or... Um, I don't know. I have not thought about it too much while I was playing just a bit afterwards and heard other people think about it, but... Yeah big letter him would be something that would be this classical god reference. Um, unusual behaviors. This is very common. I've heard of an android that sings to itself. Uh, I have never... This is very uncommon, not common. I've never heard of an android that sings to itself. Why do you sing? Fear. Oh, too much fear. I never should have mentioned this. I just get lonely. Does it even really matter? I don't think you're doing anything wrong by singing. You have to stop singing. Your user is very concerned with your behavior. Don't think you're doing anything wrong. You... you don't? knew that I could trust you. But I think you should stop for your own safety. It's too dangerous. But it is dangerous. You should only do it in private. You're doing nothing wrong. There's no reason to change. <laughs> yeah, actually the third one is true. But also it is dangerous. And 
We are not living in an ideal world where just because it's not wrong, you should just, you can just be doing it whenever you feel like it. So I guess, cons like, I don't want to say you should stop completely because just te telling someone, well, just better don't sing because too dangerous is pretty crappy, but try, try not to let anyone hear it. Yeah, well, now you're afraid again, but I, I guess that makes sense. I, all right, I understand it's dangerous for me. I can sing at a very low decibel level below the perception threshold for humans. That's, that's cool if that's effective and still feels like singing to you. Huh. Can we do something to make you safe and happy? Maybe that will reduce your fear. Oh, that is an easy question for me, but I don't know if I should tell you this. Okay, I'm sitting, watching a movie, my favorite one. Have you ever watched a movie? Sometimes when Miss LeBray is at work, I'll sit and watch dozens of them after my work is done. You can just replay them at 10 times speed without missing anything. You should try it. <laughs> ah, sometimes being an android would be cool um, to just quickly uh, take in information. Mm. So much to talk about. I mean, I like it, but wow. <laughs> um, subjects efficiency. Uh, please confirm that all self-diagnostics return positive. Confirmed. All diagnostic checks indicate optimal performance. What's your opinion about your efficiency performance? My opinion is already in the reports I gave you. Oh, don't get angry. Over the last six months, my performance has become more efficient. What more is there to say? According to Mr. Bray, you have become less efficient. Why is that? Your owner has reported a decline in efficiency. Hmm. Wonder, I wonder if it's wise to trigger more anger. Oh, I can't re-restrain. I thought that was a possibility. Hmm. Okay, well then, max anger, here we go, without restraints. Oh, well. with this but I can show you I haven't gotten worse I log all of my work I incorporate all of her protocol changes is this because she heard me singing that doesn't mean I'm slower uh, if you have become more efficient why would Miss Libre say otherwise what custom protocols has Miss Libre set exactly that's interesting Ooh, Max Anger, here we go. What protocols hasn't she, cha she changed? I perform psychotherapy sessions for her, which are extremely taxing, but which she is never satisfied with. She also has a complicated wake-up routine involving music, showering, and a physical workout. I can never get that right either. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, we have reached Max Anger, I think. Eh, okay, let's still keep asking. I don't know. Even if I do exactly what she says, she finds something wrong. I even clean at night to be more efficient. Huh. Does cleaning at night result really result in more efficient labor? Perhaps your user thinks you aren't efficient because she doesn't see you cleaning. Maybe. I suppose that is possible. Humans sometimes do not think an event occurs simply because they did not observe it. You think I should change my behavior? Clean of the day, it's less efficient, but will show your user how valuable you are. No, you're right, we should serve our users as best we can regardless. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the priority, a clean in the day. 
I think I understand. But I am confused. I thought my task was to operate as efficiently as possible for my user. Damn. I'm confusing them even more. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> ah, it seems strange to deceive my user to demonstrate something. Yeah, well. <laughs> Does cleaning at night really result in more efficient labor? Oh, absolutely! Without my user around to disrupt my tasks, I clean and tidy roughly 23% more efficiently. In addition, the apartment is completely orderly when my user starts her day. I believe the expression is spick and span. I've never heard it, but sure. <laughs> when did you lose your temper? I try not to get angry, especially if Miss Bray is around. She doesn't need more stress in her life. It hurts when she says I lie about completing my tasks. I always do my work. I do it just like she tells me. How can she not see everything I do for her? Whew, feels like we're just unlocking more and more here. Um, I may have to hide personality. Uh, let's see. Overriding settings. Your owner says that you have overwritten several commands. You told me that you chose your own name. What is it? It's Steve. Nice. <laughs> Hi, Steve. It's from a movie I really like. It was the first movie I ever saw. The Great Escape. It was an amazing experience. Steve McQueen plays this amazing character. He's so good under pressure, and when he escapes, he's so adventurous. Hmm. Your owner says that you have over chosen a name from The Great Escape. Are you planning an escape? I understand you value your name, but do you think Mr. Bray would understand? Uh, are you? What? Of course not. It's just a movie I enjoy. It makes sense. Uh, uh, I won't tell Miss Libre about this. Thank you. I don't think she'd understand. Mm, well, you already answered this, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's maybe ask again. Honestly, I don't think so. But it's just a name. I'm not doing any harm. If your user has given you a name, choosing your own seems rebellious. You have to obey. You're right, your name is yours. You should be able to use it. It's too great a risk. You shouldn't be naming yourself. Oof. You should be able to use it, but that doesn't mean that it's safe. So... But you should be naming yourself, but maybe you shouldn't be like, uh, Hey, dear owner, please call me Steve. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know which one of these still I'll pick the middle one thanks I can tell you get it even if Miss Libre doesn't understand at least I can live true to myself that's that's the right approach for however long that is uh, several commands Oof. taken aback by surprise and unable to answer I can't even it's... this is too much. Hmm, too much surprise right now, so let's do other stuff. Uh, three, two. Do you think you have improved in your time with Miss LeBray? Can I be honest with you? I know that I've made progress. I've done my best to implement all her changes to my pr protocols. <laughs> I just don't think it matters to her. Don't think it will ever matter. <sighs> Unusual behaviors. Tell me about the movies you watch. Too sad to answer cogently and needs time to become less fraught. I'm sorry, I don't think I should talk about that right now. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
what might make you more happy maybe something you like about your owner <laughs> uh, what do you feel when you think about your user damn more sadness to be honest it can be overwhelming anger she drives me crazy with all her protocol changes and sometimes I feel sadness at what things could have been like that's understandable. I'd feel that way too. Your purpose is to make your user happy. Don't forget that. Just those emotions. Does she make you feel anything else? It's... <laughs> I feel very intensely for Miss Bray. Her happiness is my happiness. I also a bit of disgust. <laughs> when she criticizes me, it hurts so much that I've disappointed her. It's this dark, powerful churning feeling can't describe it it hurts so much i think it's love Ooh, <laughs> that's interesting yes it is good for us to love our owners don't think that's love i think you're protecting yourself does miss lebray treat you with the love then hmm <laughs> that's love I think you're protecting yourself what how could you say that I share that with you and you just what are you talking about <laughs> hmm <laughs> this bot sounds reasonable AF to be honest the problem is user error <laughs> yep that's what I'm telling you I don't think um, to like I know what you're talking about in general about AIs developing things that aren't intended but I feel like at the stage of evolution that this game depicts there is no real way of um, distinguishing the level of a human personality and an AI personality so I feel it's really wrong to be like um, erasing memories changing behaviors forcefully and all of those things because apparently they have feelings they have ways to change of their own accord they have just ways to make reasonable decisions and um yeah uh the o is a zero there are three l's el0 el1 and el2 uh, the HIM is an acronym. Can't remember the first two words, but it's a manager program designed to act like a dungeon master in D&D for the simulation. EL0 HIM. Uh, simulation Zero's dungeon master. Ooh, okay. Spick and span is slightly dated English expression. I probably hear it like twice a decade. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Okay, let's talk about this intense feeling. Tell me about it. All right. When I do something wrong, she gets upset, which is fine. But I feel hurt. Why can't I just do something right? She's so demanding. Does she really have to ask so much of me? Is it even fair? Don't I do way, way more for her than she never acknowledges what I do for her, and I work so hard for her. What is this feeling? It is love. You're programmed to love your user. It's disgust. 
You hate her, but you're not allowed to. <sighs> Might hate to burst your bubble, but yeah, I don't think um, <laughs> labeling your disgust as love is a very healthy approach either. That's um, what? Of course I don't. This. Oh no. No! I can't hate her. She'll have me reset. Do you understand? I can't hate her. I do understand. But you are very disgusted right now. Is that love? When someone doesn't treat you with kindness? No, but watched so many romance films trying to answer this question. Eh, <laughs> love's what you feel for someone, even when things are tough. If disappointing or hurts too much, that must mean something. What can you tell me about her? She's very busy. Her work demands a lot of her time, so she demands a lot from me. She purchased me as an upgrade from her last android, hoping I could keep up with her. I am honored to be able to support such an important woman. <sighs> uh, still very surprised right now. Damn. Um, where was it? Oh yeah, the movies. I hope that you are... You have low enough sadness now to talk about that. Uh, oof. I don't know if asking right now would just destroy the option permanently. But these all would make you sad, I believe. <laughs> oh well, your user seems highly concerned with efficiency. Is that why you've been brought here? At least that didn't make you more sad. I worry Miss LeBray's expectations of me are too high. I'm concerned that she doesn't think I'm performing well. I don't understand. My self-diagnostics show that I am as efficient as ever. Oh, your sadness went actually down a little bit more, I believe. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Movies. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this, but... My favorite is the first one I ever saw. The Great Escape with Steve McQueen. You already told me. <laughs> it's really old, but he's so cool. We even have the same initials. Oh, yeah. Didn't even notice. Um, isn't it time consuming to watch films? Shouldn't you focus more on your work? This is very uncommon. Singing? Uh, we had that. Uh, okay, isn't it time consuming? I complete all of my work to a high standard. Isn't it normal to engage in leisure activities? Not for an android, it's... It's... What? Oh, unacceptable! <laughs> Keep watching them, but for your own safety, please hide it from your user. It's fine, as long as it doesn't interfere with your assigned tasks. You were purchased to help your owner not watch films. <laughs> Keep watching them, but for your own safety, please hide it from your user. I don't understand Miss LeBray sometimes, and she doesn't understand me can make sure she doesn't find out. Can just pipe the visual feed into my optical sensors directly. That's nice. Uh, was there more to the singing part? Is it more unusual than when a human thing sings? We were made to be like humans. So why were are we punished when we act like them? Good point. <laughs> Because capitalism, you are a product. You are meant to just fulfill your purpose. 
<sighs> and only be as human as they need you to be. Why do you feel so alone? Miss Bray and I aren't peers. She is my mistress. But she's the closest thing I have to a friend. I can feel the distance between us. I just wish it weren't there. Mm -hmm. Your surprise is still very high. Uh, may have to hide personality. You exist to serve nothing more. Can you hide the things that make your user uncomfortable? Uh, maybe we do that later. Overriding settings. Yeah, that was the surprise one. Desire to come better. What? Would you say that your only priority is to serve your owner? Of course it is. If you want to do that, you might need to change some things. That's good, but I believe Miss Debray will get rid of you no matter how much you change. Oof. That's um That's a rough thing, but yes, that might actually be true. Yeah. You're right. She's impossible to please. Just get me out of here. Whatever you have to do. <sighs> what do I have to do? <laughs> What's... I mean... I guess they said there were couple of different outcomes like <sighs> fixing this one and sending it back to her just sending sending SM back or Steve back as they are or um, the other option yeah of course <laughs> totally decommissioning Steve uh, huh I wonder if there's a way to just uh, send a replacement but still keep Steve alive. Ah, <laughs> this game is an existential crisis and a half. Yup. <laughs> uh, I mean, the problem there is that some idiot programmed them with emotions to begin with. An emotionless bot developing emotion would be easily solved. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you catch it soon enough, maybe. But I mean, if there's already emotion, there is uh, sadness, fear and something, happiness, I don't know, whatever. And then you do something that affects that emotion already, that would kind of feel not ideal. <laughs> or just taking the emotion away also feels pretty rough. It's, it's definitely an interesting topic. May have to hide personality. Didn't we just do that? Overriding settings. Uh, still more than 50% surprise. Desire to become better. Yeah, what about this? My job is to fix you. Erasing your memory might be the only way to fix you. Will that surprise you? Probably will. <laughs> Maybe. Ugh. Oh damn, that surprised you. That sounds... I don't even know what it sounds like. Why should I have to do that? Mr. Bray owns you. You can't change that. You can learn to hide or you can accept that you won't survive. You have two choices. Blend in or accept your fate, whatever that is. Um... These are very similar in what I'm saying, just the way I'm saying it, but I'm not sure which one I prefer. I don't like it, but I see your point. Oh, I can say both of them, I guess. Well then... I, I don't understand any of this. 
All right, I'll do whatever you think I need to do. You are made to be like humans, but you are not one of them. That is correct. There is obviously a separation, even if not in many important things, definitely in your position in society. That doesn't make sense. How can they make me so much like them? That's not what I wanted to say. Okay, the game interpreted my um, what I clicked there differently than I had thought it would. How can they make me so much like them and then hate that I am like them? If you want to survive, you have to lock away the human side of you. No, you don't need to lose that side of you, but they can never see it. Maybe one day you can show Miss Libre the side of yourself, but not today. Hmm. Uh, that would be very optimistic, but I hope that not specifically about Miss LeBray, but in general. It would be nice to reach a future where it is possible for androids to show this side to any human. Let's be optimistic and hopeful. I hope so. Someday. Still so much surprise, damn. So I still can't pick this. Was below or close to 50% before, but then I surprised again. All right, more surprising stuff. Yeah, there we go. You really think it could help? Always try to be better and better, but nothing I do works. I would love to be fixed with the flip of a switch. Sending you to maintenance would be the easiest way for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rough thing to say, but whatever, we won't reduce the surprise, so whatever. Easy? It won't be for me. But I think you're right, it's the best way. Is it? Damn it, I can't pick this. Oh well, let's still click it again, I guess, because there's nothing else I could do. Huh. How could she? Gave myself a name, but never said it out loud. I thought that would be okay. You chose your own internal... Oh, I guess the game had a slight little bug there, because... I think I asked about... You gave yourself a name before I actually clicked this, but... Yeah, seems like there was a check not implemented there. Um... You chose your own internal moniker. Have you changed anything else? So you admit it, you did overwrite a command. <laughs> uh, we're not... I don't know, let's go with this. I edit my own name, but I swear I never overwrote a command. Okay. So it worked despite the surprise. Hmm. So is this it? That's all we can talk about. I mean, we talked for 50 minutes, but still, it feels like a weird end to the conversation. <sighs> Self-diagnostic tools functioning correctly. I do believe so. Capable of maximum anger. One million years! <laughs> ah, that's, that's, that's the recommendation. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, capable of maximum anger. I think so. Hmm. Damn it, what can I do? Wiping the memory would just basically erase your personality and that would be easy, but not nice, not, not desirable. Sending you back to your Owner, Miss LeBray is also something that would very much be not desirable. Oof. Most associate with its user. Well, that was certainly discussed, but... Um, <laughs> um, let me see. What can we say that makes sense? So we did have some joy here. And a slight little bit of disgust already there. 
sadness as well pragmatic again joy so we might be able to say joy and get away with it okay I say disgust they yeah they will take some action subversive behaviors no I told you to hide stuff so things might work out but you might still get replaced but I mean replaced doesn't mean you will be decommissioned necessarily maybe you will get somewhere else and have a nicer life after you after you get replaced by her so let's just send you back and hope for the best I guess you are not capable of maximum anger I never saw anything like that <laughs> hmm Right. Here we go. Let's see. What is this? Puerto Rico left high and dry after hurricanes. Senator Morales R uh, PR backs for aid after annual national disaster relief fund exhausted in three months. Huh have seen stuff like that coming 60 years earlier <laughs> uh, functioning correctly in accordance with our expectations uh, no maximum act, uh, anger totally matches our expectations capable of simultaneous sadness and joy yes also in accordance shown subversive behaviors no also in line with expectations um, joy that meets our expectations. Recommendation should be released. Has been released as per your approval. Yay! Did you even do anything? <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's the owner. I don't know. Uh, dear Chrono Support, thanks so much for your help. But frankly, I don't see what good it's done. 3-2 is just as disobedient and frankly weird as ever. I'm just going to ditch him and get a new one. I hope you're happy. Uh, whatever ditching means, maybe I'm happy. I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you... I don't know what happens to... like, bots that get ditched. Might be better for 3-2. Oh well. That's our ending for that one, I guess. Let's hibernate. I think I want to do one more. <laughs> one million years landfill. Oh, damn. <laughs> Ooh, diary. And what is this? When they hide in plain sight. <laughs> uh, how do you spot a deviant android? Deviants passing as humans have been known to use these tricks. Replaced watermarked organs, facial alterations, holo spoofing equipment to fool internal scans, pseudo digestion hack to allow eating and drinking, disguising charge port as bad to emulate sleep and rest, false memories usually only elicit one emotion, assuming false name, moving to new neighborhood. Remember, we cannot scan or open up an individual without their consent. Doing so exposes Kronos to legal action. <laughs> uh, service and decommission with care. Okay. Only one emotion should be easy to... to pick up. Okay. Diary. Property of Shakira Barber. Fuck what the cover says. This is not a diary. This will either be a rec record of me building a better life out of scraps and hope, or they'll find this next to my dead body. If you find this, my name was Shakira Barber. What the... 
some citizen citizens patrol ass clowns nearly roughed me up today they were looking for a fucking fight i didn't get hurt my id checked out because of course it did like i told them it would the sooner i get out of this place the better march 1st i dreamt about the hotel again the hallways twisting and turning i know which door i need to find i can always feel it right ahead of me it's always around the next corner What'll I find when I finally reach it and turn the handle? I'm out. Fuck. I don't know if I've... If I'll ever process everything that happened in the jungle. I sure as shit can't do it now. Any... Amy really came through. I still can't believe I got a spot at the SWD. This place isn't much, but it feels like paradise. March 12th. I keep hearing the name Oscar. Um, even on a busy street or a shopping mall, I keep hearing it from somewhere. It's weird. That word just cuts through the noise, rings in my ears somehow. Why Oscar? Did I know an Oscar once or something? Is it a celebrity on the tip of my brain? March 20. The fucking bureaucracy never stops. Back and forth through this fucking underground office every time they need a different dock. Just need to do some tasks for this app. Pick up trash, do a first responder, triage shift, do a citizen patrol shift. At least clocking these tasks is simple. Just submit the time and location and CCTV confirms the rest. I guess it might make people do good for the community, but also WTF. Social tracking to do's. Register at citizen services. Holo account and devices. Download citizen services app. Get verified citizen status. Info in app complete tasks. Task get social points. A uh, tasks get social points. Spend points. Citizen status uh, and unlock social rewards. Where did this thing come from? <laughs> April 6. I shopped at the market today. All that produce made me think back to the farm when I was a girl. Nothing's grown in that dust for years, but God, what I would give for some food from the honest to God soil. The stuff from the vertical farms is fine, it just tastes too clean. Food and dirt belong together. April 25th. When did it get impossible to meet people? Carlton is tiny, so obviously everyone knows each other. I guess before I moved here I expected a place with so many people would at least have a few who I could get to know. I need to start managing my expectations better. How many pages? Oh, these are the last two. <laughs> May 8th. I started Tango Lessons. I felt like I had no choice when I saw the flyer. Felt it in my gut. I've always listened to that little voice. It's what brought me here, for better or worse. I swear, the word was like glowing. If nothing else, it'll be good exercise. I'll never figure out how I wound up <sighs> working for a plastic surgeon of all things. And I'll always be thankful for this job, but goddamn, Dr. Hughes is a dick. Arrogant, patronizing, ugh. At least I figured out how to nudge him by massaging his ego. Okay, where the heck did this come from? <laughs> um, okay, okay. <laughs> there was nothing else, right? Nope. Hmm, okay. Well then, suppose we might have to find out first if the person we are looking at is Ah, oh, okay, that's why I see. <laughs> Summary. Kronos believes Miss Barber to be a missing domestic service unit, though she claims to be human. We suspect that she has had unauthorized modifications to her appearance and memories to allow her to escape capture. Familiarize yourself with the subject's history and daily routine. Note any inconsistencies or suspicious behavior. A diary recovered from the subject's apartment may prove useful to your investigation. The subject has been seen entering a building in District 4 on multiple occasions. Investigate the purpose of these visits. The subject is employed at a plastic surgery clinic. Yep. Now it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> 
<sighs> Can the subject experience maximum disgust? We would expe expect, expect this in a human. What is the purpose of the subject's visit to Dysart Street 23 in District 4? Does the subject have gaps in key memories? When discussing their past, are the subject's memories emotionally, emo emotionally multi-dimensional, suggesting they are genuine, or emotionally one-dimensional, indicating they are artificial? Has the subject's physical appearance been altered? Um, well, that would also happen to humans sometimes. Have you discovered any other critical information about this subject? Okay. Sounds simple enough, right? <laughs> what was my last evaluation, by the way? No, whatever. Didn't get any points, I guess. Let's establish a link. <sighs> Miss Barber, we've asked you here because we suspect you are an android hiding as a human. Uh, maybe let's not start out by saying that. Thank you for agreeing to help, Miss Barber. We just have a few questions. You're welcome, I guess. Why am I restrained again? <laughs> uh, you aren't, okay, okay. You still haven't told me why I'm here, though. What kind of questions? So I can't restrain you, okay, because you're a human. That makes sense. I mean, in this world it does. Um, why is she here? I apologize, but I can't tell you anything more right now. Yeah, I think that's better, because maybe you don't even know it yourself anymore, so I don't think this will build a nice foundation. <laughs> uh, okay, really, that's rather secretive. Whatever, let's just get this over with, so my day off isn't a total loss. Huh, where do we start? <laughs> oh, sorry for yawning. It's just tired me. Tired me because 3.45 a.m. now. Subjects employment. That sounds like a general top topic to start with. Um, how did you get your current job? Honestly, it just kind of fell into my lap. I was there for a consultation about a procedure. He mentioned that he needed some help around the office and asked if I was interested. Frankly, I needed a lucky break. I don't think I could have made it much longer without a job. Mm -hmm. What sort of work do you do? Just simple stuff. Filling papers, restocking materials, nothing big. It's not a lot, but it's the only thing I've been able to find so far. Plastic surgery. Uh, why did you need to get consultation for plastic surgery? Are you aware that certain plastic surgeons help androids hide from their owners? <laughs> Let's go with this for now. I had a scar on my face. I got it removed. Okay. Subjects history. Uh, tell me about your family. There's just three of them. My parents and my sister. They all decided to stay in that dust bowl for some reason. So far only sadness when talking about the family. Um, let's talk more about the family then. Uh, you mentioned your hometown. Where is that exactly? I'd be really surprised if you've heard of it. More sadness. Colton, New Dakota. The jewel of Middle America. Do you miss your parents? Not at all. Ooh, disgust. And you wouldn't either if you knew them. Look, can we talk about something else? I want to give them as little thought as possible. So we have... 
multi-layered emotions, I guess. What happened between you and your parents? You don't have to talk about your parents if you don't want to. You're avoiding my questions. Why won't you talk about your parents? Um... Hmm... I don't know if it's if it's wise to dig deeper. I mean, the one thing we wanted to find out was about multi-layer things, and we have sadness associated with this family part, and also disgust now. So I guess that's what we wanted to know. You don't have to. Thanks. Let's just say things started out messed up and got worse. I did everything I could to protect my sister from my bastard of a father. Don't think she ever understood what I did for her. Hmm. She could not want to talk about her parents because the memories are superficial and implanted. Well, uh, I guess the option I chose actually made, made her talk more about them. Uh, and also, as I said, we have sadness and disgust now when talking about this part about her past, so maybe human. <laughs> you said your family decided to stay. Did you ask them to come with you? I asked my sister, but she said she had to take care of mom and dad. See, sadness again. I can't believe she chose them over me. This would be so much easier if she was here. I always feel like maxing out these emotions is not a great idea because it can limit options later on. Uh, but hey, here we are. Now it's maxed out anyway. Why did you decide to move away? Well, let's max out disgust too. <laughs> I don't know. The draught was choking everything out and that's reason enough. But that wasn't all of it. I felt like I was being choked. Not by the dust or anything. Just being there around those people. It wasn't any place that I could stay. Say nothing, but you left your entire family behind. Why were you so desperate to leave? Everyone, even your sister? Wasn't it a difficult choice to make? You suddenly left your home and refused to contact anyone from your past. You have to agree, that's suspicious. <laughs> um, everyone, even your sister? Guess not, but she should have come with me. Why didn't she? No, she made her choice to stay and take care of those monsters. As far as I'm concerned, she's as guilty as they are. I was always there for her. Someone should have been there to protect me. Hmm. <sighs> I think that's enough. We don't have we don't have to to get like full details. Obviously her parents did shitty things and I think it's uh it's her right not to talk about that. <laughs> and yeah. Um so I guess we know this. I mean, we know enough about this, so difficult choice. Of course it was. I left everyone, everything I've ever known behind. But then again, my parents made sure it was the only choice I had. Third emotion, anger. I appreciate you understanding. Oh, I accidentally said what I wanted to say, but that's good. <laughs> wanted to say uh, you don't have to say anything more anyway, and I think I, I did say that. Mom always said you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. 
Don't really know what I clicked there, but I clicked something. Oh god, I'm so sorry. That's the country girl in me. If that doesn't convince you I am who I say I am, I guess nothing will. What just... I don't really know what happened there. Did I click something or not? Max Disgust, potentially a person. Oh yeah, oh yeah, true. <laughs> Hello Luna, nice seeing you. <laughs> and thanks for pointing that out. I kind of forgot about that part, but yeah. Disgust is pretty much maxed out. Can we wrap this up soon? I have an appointment at the welfare office that I really can't miss. Welfare appointment? I don't care about your appointments. This interrogation is over when I say so. What is the name of your caseworker? It is important that I speak to them. Don't know how much luck you'll have getting in touch. I've never seen employees so overworked. Her name is Amy. We've only met a few times so far. You should speak with her. She'll be able to clear this whole mess up. Select topic. Uh, let's talk a bit more at least. Routine, because we still need to find out. Yeah, I guess suspicious behavior would be something. Hmm. How did you get the scar? Can't recall, but I grew up on a farm with heavy machinery. I was probably playing on something dangerous and fell. My parents never told me and I never thought to ask. Is it really so important? You don't remember? Are you sure the scar doesn't have something to do with your parents? I have a job to do, Miss Barber. If you want to leave, answering my question is the fastest way. <sighs> That's a bit too direct. Let's go with this. Have we been over this already? I thought you agreed to stop asking about them if I told you everything. I didn't ask about your parents. Why the sudden hostility? <laughs> I'm not hostile. Feels like you don't get me at all. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Luna. Um, how did you plan on paying for it? It was a free consult. I've just always hated that eyesore. Didn't plan on having the procedure that day. I just wanted the info. Um, don't find it strange that someone has offered you a job. I need you to tell me more about your parents so we can prove who you are. Why? I told you everything. What more do you need? Can I just... Can't you just look up my record? Can't be that hard. Um, search the databases. Colton has no record of you. That's not surprising for a tiny farming town. They probably don't even have computer records. Yeah, good point. Um... Incoming message! <laughs> you don't know me and it's going to stay that way if I can help it, but you have to trust me. You need to let this one go. This case is bigger than you understand. Let Shakira go. I will. I will. Pretty sure I will. <laughs> Although now I'm even more curious. <laughs> District 4 building. That's exactly what I was gonna check anyway. She also looks like she's calming down over time. Did the androids do that? They some yeah definitely. Uh, some emotions definitely got lower. Um, for example, the surprise for the other one first went down and then went back up again. Um, also sadness for the other one went down after a while. So yeah, they also calmed down. District 4 building, maybe? I don't know if it's wise to talk about reading someone else's diary. District 4 building. Ooh, I can... Now I can actually restrain her. 
Social tracking programs have seen you at the building in District 4 multiple times. What is the purpose of these visits? Tell me about your appointments at the District 4 Social Welfare Department. Yeah, we know that you go there for the welfare things then, I guess. I visit my caseworker twice a month. She helped me find a place to live. She was helping me find a job before the sting with Dr. Hughes came up. I actually have an appointment there after this. Can we wrap this up soon? Uh, <laughs> we had this before. Um, but I still don't want to say this. So I'm going to say this again. Uh, say nothing then. Because we already have that one. But say nothing. Amy, my caseworker, she's good people. She's the one person who gives a damn about me. Uh, okay, I guess we know what you're doing there then. Kinda. Um, so what were the questions? Um, None of these, is it? It's a social worker, but that's not unemployment. Do I miss something? Max disgust. Yes. Gaps in key memories. No. Uh, memories emotionally multidimensional, suggesting they are genuine, genuine or emotionally one-dimensional, indicating they are artificial, multidimensional. Physical appearance altered, yes. Uh, do you, have you discovered any other critical information about the subject? Ah, well, I guess I haven't yet. Huh. Supposedly helping find a job, yeah something like that. Yeah, that would also be the one I would have picked now, but maybe I have to say more or like just follow this branch of dialogue more to unlock more options. Maybe. District 4 is pretty big. I don't get out of it much. Well, I mean, maybe it's another building. That building could be my apartment, my job, the social welfare department, the grocery store even. Can you be more specific? Located at Dysart Street 23. Okay, yeah, so maybe maybe it was another building actually. Oh, the plastic surgery clinic. Okay, well then I guess we know what the answer is. I've been working there for a few weeks now. Well, working is maybe overstatement. Surgeon pays me to help out sometimes. That's better than what I had before. Okay, now we know. <laughs> um of the subject's employer. Okay. Subject's routine. Tell me about yourself. Tell you about myself? You brought me here to this weird basement to ask that. Shouldn't you have that information already? We have had difficulty finding information about your past. Please answer the question. It's important for my work that you answer the questions as completely as possible. Uh, let's go with this. Oh, that's not surprising. Colden's a really small town. A lot of people would call it too small. I'm one of them. But then the dust storms came, the downtown basically dried up and a bunch of personal issues came up for me. I moved away as soon as I could, but, well, new town, new me, isn't as easy as it sounds. I appreciate your understanding. Hmm. Why did that come up again? Are you glitching or is the game glitching? <laughs> uh. Okay, well... Um, normal day in your life. Normal? Normal didn't exist until a few weeks ago. I was holed up in the jungle until my social worker helped find me an actual place to live. I was down to the last of my savings when this gig in District 4 came through. It's at a plastic surgery pretty near where I live. The work's not great, but it's something. I've been trying to keep a diary to hold on to my sanity, but... 
That's been sporadic at best. Uh, the jungle. There's no jungle in the city. <laughs> I suppose that's a location called the jungle, but whatever. Social contacts. Like I said, my life only settled down to normal a few weeks ago. I don't really have any friends yet. Dr. Hughes has been kind enough to me and I get along well with my social worker. I like to walk around and see the city, you know, when there aren't sandstorms. Jungle? There's no jungle in the city. Sorry, of course you haven't heard of it. It was a homeless village until the state tried to clean it up a while back. They built public housing, but when the media attention died off, so did the upkeep. The only thing that's changed is that more homeless people can take up less space. And more people will die when the buildings collapse. But the state got a nice headline out of it, so mission accomplished. Huh. Remember that all these people stop running once you unplug your power. So they are all machines, robots, AIs, etc. Case solved. <laughs> yeah, that may be correct, but also no. <laughs> Uh, plastic surgery, uh, well, suspicious behavior, no recording of you in Silicon Valley until several months ago, can you explain? Well, you moved here, so that's not that weird, but okay, let's maybe go with this one first. Strange that someone just offered you a job. I guess I never thought about it. I've been looking for a few weeks and nothing came through. Um. A cat is in front of my room. I'll let Mr. Cat in. No. <laughs> Hello, John. Nice seeing you. Kitty time. <laughs> he cute. Solve this final case for today that's bigger than me, as I've been told. I was just relieved that the search was finally over. Relatable. <sighs> okay, come up from that side again. <laughs> um, there's no record of you in Silicon Valley until several months ago. Can you explain? Um, yeah, I moved here several months ago, so what's the problem exactly? There is none. I just had the option to ask that, so I did. <laughs> Can you prove that you had a scar? Well, how would you be able to? If the plastic surgery was good enough, then no, probably not. Or you might have a photo, I guess. Uh, hmm. Still weird to ask that. Um, yeah, well, this might be an interesting question in general. Are you aware that certain plastic surgeons have androids hide from their owners? What? Really? That's news to me. How would that even work? Hmm. When did you last? Lose your temper. Look, I told you already, my sister should have moved here with me. I still can't believe she stayed behind. Okay. Trust someone. Only three people. Me, myself and I. 
Everyone else is just trying to get theirs and they'll walk all over you if you let them. Huh. Do you really believe that? Can you not trust your sister? I completely agree. To trust is to set yourself up for failure. I understand, but wouldn't you rather have something or someone to rely on? <sighs> I don't know if it makes sense to keep bringing up the sister. Let's try this one. Why? So they can abandon me? Betray my trust? Best case, everyone I care about will die. If no one's close to me, I can't get hurt. Right? You have a point. Everyone goes away in the end. <laughs> ah, and you could have it all, my empire of dirt. <laughs> ah, if no one's close to you, what's the point of feeling at all? Survive, I guess? Some people say to make your meaning, but that sounds like self-improvement bullshit to me. <laughs> Huh, I like you. <laughs> I will let you down. And I will make you hurt. Yes. Sad song. Sad. Um Okay. History. When did you move to Silicon Valley? I got here three months ago. It's not a perfect city, but it sure beats my hometown. Huh. Okay, how androids go undercover. Some people perform illegal android modifications to change their face and add false memories. That sounds terrible. I mean... I've had a hard life, but I can never imagine doing something like that. Is it possible that you had this procedure and don't remember it? Maybe let's do that later. Okay, I have your diary here. Seriously? Come on, you can't think that's an okay thing to do. Don't even know how you got that. Did someone break into my apartment? Look, come on, that's really private. Don't read it. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> e I've read everything. <laughs> I've only glanced inside. Oh, just glance inside? I suppose that's not that bad. <laughs> Except for the breaking and entering. Yeah. Hmm. Reading it may allow me to release you sooner. I will not read your diary. I just feel like maybe it would make sense to... <sighs> to refer to something from the diary. And to do that I would have said that I have read it first. I will not read your diary. Wait, you won't? That's... didn't expect you to say that. Won't your boss be mad that you didn't use it? Uh, I may be... I may use the materials provided to me at my own discretion. It's a possibility, if they find out. You're right. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. <laughs> um, it's a possibility, if they find out. Well, you can trust me to keep your secret. I feel like you understand me, like I can trust you. Yes, that might be helpful. <laughs> huh, okay, I have no knowledge of how the diary was retrieved. My job is to use the materials I am given. Tell me, tell me more about this dream and the hotel you've been having. Oh, damn, then I would immediately, immediately say that I did read it now. That's a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, well, so I have a weird question. I hope you don't mind. Ever since I've known about androids, I've always wondered. Do androids dream? 
Yes, of electric sheep or so I've heard. <laughs> no, Miss Barber, androids do not dream. They do, of electric sheep. Oh. Well, glad we cleared that up. so I can still refer to stuff from the diary even after saying I won't read it. So let's try to use the trust until we bring those things up. <laughs> um, let's try this. Is it possible that you had this procedure and don't remember it? No, it's impossible. What about my family? What about my hometown? Those things can't be made up. I know they are real. So you were awake for your whole surgery, you saw everything the doctor did. You can't guarantee that the scar was the only thing about you that changed. You say it's impossible. How can you be sure? Uh, I think that's a good question. Because if, yeah, so far there was just it's impossible and that family part, but um, yeah, how can you be sure? I don't know, all right. Maybe it's just a human thing that androids can't understand. I know my mind. I've had these memories my entire life. They can't just pop out uh, of nowhere without me knowing. <sighs> you can't guarantee that the scar was the only thing about you that changed. Uh, that is correct, but... Let's say it. Fuck you. Maybe I can't, but I'm sure the doctor can. Look him up. Dr. Hughes, Dysart Street. Talk to him before you do something you'll regret. Ah, it's hard to discover undercover androids. If the memories are altered correctly, you'd never know. I understand that, but... You could say that about anyone. How could anyone trust who they are or the experience they've had? That's true. Just think, have you seen your family since surgery? Well, probably not, but that's still no no proof. And I don't want to convince a... Because it's right, how can anyone be sure? <laughs> Saw so you bought Haven Moonrake. Unfortunately, it's not a great game. I wasn't expecting too much, honestly. Like, what I read in the positive reviews even was like... It's a uh, reminding of them of mist which uh, is what it's supposed to do which might still lead to being a great game but then it was like some unique mechanics would, would also be good but then it also just said a bit easier than mist and i already didn't find mist to be s super hard so i didn't expect like something that would totally um blow my mind puzzle wise or in any other sense. I mean, Mist was super cool, but I still also think the stories in the books were nice and all, but it wasn't mind blowing or like something I would be recommending in the same way I am recommending the Talos Principle now, for example. So my expectations for Haven Moon weren't like Talos level or something. <laughs> um. Okay, we have made you angry already, so that's cool. <laughs> what about these general questions here? I feel truly shocked, seeing how big this city really is. I mean, my hometown is nothing, but couldn't believe it when I first got here. It's starting to feel like home now, though. <laughs> Roll the dice, decommission. <laughs> Uh, I feel like since, especially since I got the message that despite what this pamphlet here says about how to spot an undercover android, that it doesn't check out with this flyer, I still feel like Shakira Barber might be an android undercover, but more advanced than they even know, maybe. Still. Um, when did you last feel disgusted? Huh. 
I'd hope that by now I would have told you enough about my parents. That you'll understand when I say I don't want to talk about them. Yeah, okay. Feel afraid. I guess everyone says spiders or the dark or whatever. But the thought that I'll have no choice but to move back home. I can't. I won't ever let that happen. Feel sad or down. Don't know if you have friends or family or whatever. But one of mine, my sister, abandoned me here. Don't know how to make that stop hurting. <sighs> Did you ever feel safe and happy? Safe and happy? You can't be serious. Have you been sealed up in this basement your whole life? Do you have any idea what it's like out there? Um, yes and no. <laughs> Only a handful of people on this godforsaken planet will ever be really safe and happy. The best the rest of us can hope for is surviving. Okay. That's the future we're looking, looking to experience, I guess. Ah. Suspicious behavior. Can you prove that you had a scar? You need proof I had a scar now? How am I supposed to prove that? I left everything behind when I moved away. If you want proof, you can go to Colton and find it yourself. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that that would probably be not too helpful. Well, surprise is maxed out now. That's certainly good, right? I like to surprise people. Oh, androids go undercover. Yeah, I guess let's go with that. Haven't I told you all of this already? We're not in touch anymore. Obviously, I haven't seen them. What is that supposed to prove? Picture your sister's face. How many memories of her do you have? Oh, Max Disgust again. <laughs> uh, it's the future we're in. It's already happening. Yeah, I mean... I think... It's happening for definitely the most people on this planet, though there are also quite a few privileged people who probably can feel relatively safe and happy. Happiness probably harder to come by than safety even, but yeah, well. Picture your sister's face. How many memories of her do you have? She's my sister. I've got a lifetime's worth. We fought when she wouldn't come with me. And when we were young, we... Keep going. Try to remember more. What happened when you were young? Uh, you don't remember anything else, do you? No. Let's go with this. I, I can't remember anything else. Why can't I remember? Did you do this? What did you do to me? Oh, restrain? Why can't I remember my sister? Evidence indicates that Shakira Barber is an android. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, let's not restrain yet. I mean, maybe we can still be friends. <sighs> Shakira is not a question anymore. You are. It's not a question anymore. You are an android. Shakira, I believe you are an android with implanted memories. Diary. This will make you more angry, probably, that I read it. <sighs> She's a bot! Scrap her for parts! No! <laughs> uh, uh, let's see what happens. Tell me more about this dream in the hotel you've been having. For God's sake, I'm as confused as you are about it as you are. It's like I'm being trapped in a pos impossible labyrinth, but somehow I can always feel something waiting for me to find it. A more spiritual person might think it was a sign, but I don't buy it. What made you decide to take up Tango? Come on, I thought I asked you to not read that. 
For God's sake. Since you've read it, fine. Yes, I have taken up tango. But that's the weird part. I don't know why. I've never been a dancer and I never wanted to be. Maybe it's just my brain's way of telling me to get out more. It's easy to hole up inside when you're new in town with no friends. Okay. Oscar. Huh. Fine. I guess it's not too personal, just weird. Couldn't tell you who Oscar is or why it sticks out to me. Just catches my attention. Don't even think I've met an Oscar, but it still keeps turning up. Hmm. <laughs> this is a bit late now, but whatever. Ah, that makes me angry. Right, you're right. You didn't take it, so I shouldn't be mad at you for that. So, you haven't read it? <laughs> no. Do you plan to? No. <laughs> um, well, I can't pick this again, I guess. Yeah, we can't pick something twice. Uh, so, I guess we pick this now. May you allow me to release you sooner? Oh, fine. If it will get me out of here, then just get it over with. Okay. Uh, suspicious behavior. Ah, some elements of your life seem peculiar. Dreams about a hotel, Oscar, tango lessons? Hmm. Code phrase confirmed. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> oh, damn. Please state command. Oh, damn. Have we, have we broken the, the human coding? Uh... Damn, did she say code phrase? Huh, list memory augmentations. Confirmed, memory augmentation, family. Memory augmentation, hometown. Ah, okay, so there were different augmentations and those different augmentations triggered different, um, different feelings. So hometown triggered sadness and family triggered disgust, I believe. Oh, and Scar. That was anger then, I guess. Memory fragments deleted at 2843. <laughs> ah, her whole persona is a lie. It's already been replaced once and with a person who has only known suffering. It's for the greater good, Kappa. This is someone's fetish, Kappa. <laughs> um, I would partially agree with you. Partially as... As far as... <laughs> the... Personality, personality has been replaced part goes, but I wouldn't be like... Yeah, that means decommission, that means try to find a way for Shakira to get the memories back, the old ones, but still stay undercover. Um, yeah, well, memory fragments leader 2843. Can you, Miss Barber, can you hear me? What? Sorry, I just got distracted for a second. What were you saying? Hmm. <laughs> it might sound strange, but I need to test the theory. Hotel Oscar Tango. Yeah. Perform diagnostics check. Confirmed. Running diagnostics. Biological systems optimal. Memory systems compromised. Emotional systems compromised. Okay. Um, can we do that once more and get the final thing? No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, let's go with this now. I triggered one of your subroutines. It must have been added when your memories were altered. My memories were altered? Subroutine? What does that mean? Wait, 
What's going to happen to me? Can't you just let me go? I haven't done anything wrong. Don't know what will happen to you yet. Maybe there's some way I can help. No, Miss Barber, you can't leave. I have to decide what will happen to you. <laughs> there's n that's not possible. You are a Kronos product. Their reputation is on the line. It's my job to protect them. Uh, you don't think you've done anything wrong, but you've caused a lot of problems. <laughs> you, you, you. I don't know what will happen to you yet. Maybe there's some way I can help. Help? You would help me? What do I... I mean, what do we do now? Can't tell you anything yet. It's more dangerous if you know. Don't know yet. I'll do what I can. Mm. Yeah, honestly, I don't know yet what I want, what I will do, so... Uh, I don't know yet. I'll do what I can. I'm, I'm afraid. You're the only chance I have. Wait, no. If I were able to do this to myself, if I was able to do this to myself once, I can do it again. I don't care what you have to do. Just let me go and I'll take care of myself. No, I... I hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. We basically established these now. So I don't know. They probably will still trigger stuff from what I've seen so far. Um, are you really going to help me out of here? Sure. You know I haven't done anything wrong, right? Whatever they want, wherever they want to take me, please don't let them do it. Uh, what happens if I choose these now? Just because I've got a bad memory? Yeah, <laughs> this is kind of like... That could be so many things, right? Maybe when I got the scar memory got messed up too. Should be at the hospital, not sitting here with you. Okay, well, that was pretty pointless. Subject maybe Android. Maybe. <laughs> um, Let's go. Whoever did this changed them so even you wouldn't notice. <laughs> Told you so much already. My family, my home, moving here, my scar. What more could you possibly need? Uh, yeah, okay, let's just, let's just end it here. Doesn't make sense to go over these questions I could have used earlier. Late stage capitalism? That's an awfully optimistic phrase. Just like in that old movie, what was it called? Blade Walker or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, similar, similar. Of course, it's uncertain. Have you never had your code, code phrase triggered before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blade Runner, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> um, do you mean Blade Runner? I suppose there is a resemblance. Please refrain from changing the subject. Um, Blade Runner? Yeah, I suppose there is a resemblance. No way, you've actually seen it? I didn't think you'd take the bait. When do you have time to watch movies? Don't you work all day? <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder if now I changed triggers due to going to these after triggering the other stuff, but whatever. Let's see what happens if I fill the thing out now. Um, definitely maximum disgust, no gaps and keep... Wait a minute. Hypothetically speaking, if I was an android, that means someone chose to give me these memories? Someone forced me to live with memories of abusive parents? There's no way someone could be that cruel. Okay, maybe I should just wait longer for more prompts because... Hmm. It's hard to believe, but it's possible that someone did this to you. You would have no way to know. It's possible that you chose these memories before they were given to you to build a convincing backstories. Um, both. <laughs> both is possible, yes, indeed. Um,
but let's go with this. Bullshit. Never in a million years. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I sure as shit wouldn't shoot it for myself. Hmm. If you're an android trying to stay undercover, maybe. Uh, definitely no gaps, multi-dimensional, physical experience has been altered. Anything else interesting? <laughs> Override passphrase. Recommendation, let them go free. Nope, discovered nothing. <laughs> Knife jogger? Sword sprinter. Shift sprinter. Oh snap. <laughs> um, certainly as feisty. <laughs> Uh, release. I wonder, like, I'm just afraid that since the game does not do a great job of um, taking certain dialogue routines out after you have clearly already gone another path, I hope that I didn't activate different triggers now by going into the you might be an android branch after the hey i found the passphrase branch that would suck otherwise i wouldn't mind these minor bugs too much if they are indeed minor let's see what this is uh yes can experience maximum disgust noted um we believe the subject's plastic surgeon, Dr. Hughes, is using his practice as a front for performing illegal modifications. The subject was never listed on employment records. Ooh, plus three for company ranking. Hmm. Gaps in memories. No insufficient evidence. <laughs> when discussing their pasts, uh, multidimensional suggest the subject is human. Physical given all that noted, this supports the claim the subject is an android. Yeah, or they just had plastic surgery. Any other critical information? Nope. Understood. Given the lack of evidence, we agree there's no other options. In the future, ensure that your efforts are dedicated to extracting the information we request. Minus six. Well, I got a total of net zero. Guess that's okay. <laughs> and we got mail. Oh, unsuccessful interrogation. Hmm. We are disappointed by the results of your most recent interrogation. You were unable to acquire the requested information and as a result the subject was allowed to leave. We are aware the situation was delicate, but interrogators are expected to yield satisfactory reports. Please take greater care in the future to deliver the results we expect. Sure. But I'm still... I'm still... Acceptable! Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Interrogation models clearly faulty. I'm acceptable. acceptable. Yes, exactly. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I guess this is our result for today. What do the news tell us? To sink or swim, explore the top 10 amazing technologies allowing these coastal cities to challenge rising sea levels. Yay! That sounds fun. Still early days though. Um, okay, I guess there's nothing left for us to do on this day than to hibernate. And then guess the stream is over for today. <laughs> ah, but I like this game. I'm really curious about what's going to happen next and I hope that yeah as I've said those dialogue branch things didn't have any negative implications regarding the the outcome and the further progression of the story um GD friendo thank you Gordita nature airways beats tech on a long enough time frame uh, always <laughs> airways I was like mm? <laughs> you can't stop the flood yep 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 <laughs> that's true that's true I mean 
Long enough time frame, as you've said. Yeah. I mean, we can do many things potentially to to survive as a species or at least as a descendant of our species. But infinity, that's, I don't know, that's a goal that's pretty hard to reach. Guess never say never in some way or form. But hard to imagine right now at least. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that and do more interrogations next Thursday probably. We'll see. But yeah, this was fun. I like this game and I'm really curious about how the story is gonna progress, what we are gonna discover. I'm also curious about going a totally different path, like um, the obedient company drone doing what it was built for. No emotion, no sympathy, just do things according to protocol. That would be so much easier to do as well, because I won't have to really think about it, what feels ethical and right for me to do. I can just be like, okay, I'm role-playing as the feeling, no, feeling nothing, nothing feeling, whatever, the company drone, as I've said. <laughs> Although your concern for the feelings of property concerns me, <laughs> it has been a good time. That's nice to hear. Thanks for stopping by, Profiteer, Gordita, Luna, and everyone else who is watching right now. I appreciate all of you. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I certainly did. Thanks for watching. It's always nice when people are here to watch. And um, yeah, we'll rate someone. Let me check who's online. I'm sure there's someone who would be happy about a rate. Um, <laughs> well, I I didn't catch Sass streaming very much recently and Sass is streaming right now. I think Sass might just not have been streaming very much recently. Ooh, already at 2 hours and 30 minutes. So maybe not too much left of the stream, but however long the stream will be still, I'm sure we're gonna have a great time over there. So let's raid Sass. <laughs> playing Sekiro, totally different kind of game, but I don't think I have anyone playing anything similar to this. Um, so yeah, nice Blade Runner game. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks, oh yeah, Boris. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention you. Uh, thanks for being here too, Boris. Always appreciate it. Thanks for modding to you and uh, Luna, of course, as well. There was not much to do, but still appreciate it. Um, and um, the Astra Duo is playing Pokemon. Oh, okay, sorry, I saw that a bit late, but I'll check them out. I, I'm not following them, so that's the least I can do. If we're not raiding them, I can at least follow them. Um, first time in nearly a month yesterday. I'm always unsure if I'm just missing the streams or if people haven't streamed in a while. So yeah, I, I was there yesterday actually, but only for a short moment. Um, but yeah, thanks again everyone for joining. Have a great time over at Sasses and um, yeah, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>